and they turn. Indomo Masaba. A lot has been said about the slow death of the oral tradition aspect of indigenous communication in Africa, the steady infiltration of foreign media content and values which were once strange to Africans are now being integrated and exhibited at an alarming rate. Africans are slowly but surely losing their heritage, says Kariuki Wanyamu, a poet from Kenya. So it's a good thing for even children to be nurtured, the talent to be nurtured uh, in writing. So you just give them the right environment, encourage them to read children's book. It is on this background that the Babishai and Niwe Foundation was started a few years back by Beverly Nambozo. Through the annual Babishai Poetry Festival, the foundation seeks to highlight the importance of poetry to the society and also entice the young generation to follow the lead. So we've engaged with families this time. That's another difference. We used to target the academia and those spaces of educators but now we're targeting families because the family is such an important unit and once the family is trained well with power then anything is possible. This year's festival started with poets from Uganda and across the African continent taking a nature walk in Mabira forest and composing nature related poems. Musamia, you bleed. You bleed, your colorlessness is red. Musamia, you are wounded, yet you crawl on. Many more miles you crawl to hug the now. People cut down trees for good and bad reasons. Don't you know the animals you're hurting all seasons? Trees for fuel, trees for wood. Some of them even provide food. Then the first children's poetry and story anthology was unveiled at the Uganda Museum. We thought that if we come out with pictures, it would augur well with the children because they love uh, pictures and these are pictures that are related to the poems themselves. Uh, like when you see Aspects of the African culture and history has been passed down and preserved through poetry. It is often used to inform, eulogize achievements, celebrate love and to speak out against unacceptable behaviors and practices in the society among others. Denis Igoa for UBC News. As my hands fly in the air, I slide down the wet earth.